Hello and welcome to Headlines at Mint. Let's take a look at the big stories that are likely to make headlines this Wednesday. In some distressing news, Cafe Coffee Day's founder owner VG Siddhartha went missing on Monday. Searches were being carried out in the Netravati River near Mangaluru. A few days ago, he had reportedly written a letter to the board and employees apologizing for failing to create the right profitable business model. He had also said, I fought for a long time, but today I gave up as I could not take any more pressure. Meanwhile, the income tax department, which is being accused of harassing Siddhartha, has questioned the authenticity of his signature in the letter in question. The VG Siddhartha case is expected to continue impacting markets on Wednesday. Coffee Day Enterprises shares crashed 20% on Tuesday, while the Sensex closed 0.77% lower and the Nifty lost 0.93%. There is also a concern that the CCD case might affect liquidity in the system, with a few NBFCs having exposure to the company. The bosses will also be watching US-China trade talks closely. On Wednesday, companies like Indian Oil Corporation, Container Corporation of India, and Allahabad Bank are expected to announce their first quarter earnings. Apart from these, Aisha Motors, Ashok Leyland and Apollo Tires will be reporting their three-month revenue. These will be pertinent given the current slowdown in automobile sector. On Tuesday, Axis Bank reported a 95.42% rise in Q1 net profit at Rs 1,370 crore. Hero Motor Corp posted a 35.89% increase in consolidated net profit. Will the US Federal Reserve lower borrowing costs for the first time in more than a decade? The answer to that question will be given on Wednesday as the Fed's chairman, Jerome Powell, addresses a press conference after two days of meetings. Many analysts have suggested that the central bank may cut interest rates by 25 basis points. The decision may have an impact on foreign investors' attitude towards Indian markets. Ride-hailing company Uber Technologies has announced its decision to lay off 400 employees globally. This amounts to around a third of its marketing department. CEO Dara Khosrow Shahi in an email said that the company has grown fast, but it has slowed down and that big teams can lead to mediocre results. Uber went public in May and is currently trading just below the IPO price. The contentious triple talaq bill cleared the Rajya Sabha hurdle on Tuesday. The government managed to get the bill passed in the upper house after JDU and AIA-DMK walked out. The passage marked a victory for the Modi government which had failed to get Rajya Sabha's nod on the bill in the last few sessions. PM Modi tweeted that an archaic and medieval practice had finally been confined to the dustbin of history. Truecaller is in the middle of a storm after reports of an automatic sign-up to its payment service. Users claimed they received messages saying their unified payment interface accounts had been created with ICIC Bank without their consent. Truecaller later clarified, blaming a bug. Lok Sabha cleared the Consumer Protection Bill on Tuesday. It contains provisions to check misleading advertisements by penalizing not just manufacturers and service providers, but also celebrity endorsers. Celebs and manufacturers can be fined Rs 10 lakh for the first offence, with the penalty rising to Rs 50 lakh and jail term up to five years for subsequent violations. We leave you with these images of Team India on their way to Florida to play against West Indies. Virat Kohli shared a selfie with teammates KL Rahul, Krunal Pandya and others, captioning it Miami Bound. Shikhar Dhawan also shared a photo with Rohit Sharma on his Twitter. He wrote, all set for West Indies with my partner, the Hitman. 